Morning, everybody. Well, I don't think there's anybody here yet, but in case you're watching on the replay, good morning to you, and thank you for coming and watching the replay. There's just on this morning, I was doing some editing. I got to get a cheap monitor that I can just use here just for when I'm... Uh, I'm working because uh, I have my big, big monitor, but it's not practical. But I got to get something so I can work and uh, do this at the same time. But until that time arises, I, then I'll just take a little break from it. So, nothing big this morning, I don't think. Um, I'm just going to pause it. Jennifer Watts, hi. Nice to see you. Reese is. Reese. Or you want to uh, break from your classes? From I hope all is going well. Irvin de Taurus, hey, how's it going? Bottle caps, my man. Good to see you. How are you? Always nice to have you here. Deathrog is here. Lots of channels. Pass the coffee. There you go. <laughs> Dexter, what's going on? Good to see you. Not much. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm horrible at the light when it's not here. Uh, let's see if there's any planes. What's that like? Uh, nope. There. And I didn't say there because it's good. It's like there. That's enough. How are you guys doing this morning? Good to see you all. Nice to see lots of fresh, friendly faces early in the morning. I've been up for it for a while. I've uh, been doing some editing, getting ready for the next photo series, uh, living photo series I'm going to put up on Sunday. Looks like this time is going to be Budapest. So I'm uh, going through the pictures right now. And Well... Thank you so much, Old Camp Ranch, and good luck with the livestock and everything. And uh, maybe we'll see you tonight in the main live stream. Thank you so much for dropping by. This is pretty impromptu in the morning. Like, I don't have a set time. And like I look, like for instance, of the Corn Life Network, if he's streaming or something like that, I uh, I won't even go on. I'll, I'd rather go on his when he's on and support him. But I don't see him this morning, so. Oh, Jennifer, I'm sorry to hear about your issues with your mom. I hope all is well now. Um, no need to apologize. I've always said that, guys. Real life comes first. Not to worry about it. I understand. We all have stuff. And I just hope things are better with your mom and that. We're good. And uh, tonight's another night if you can make it. It's going to be a really good podcast. A really good, excuse me. It's going to be a, a really good um live stream and uh, a lady who is podcaster in the top 200 in itunes so this is going to open up a whole new chapter and a whole new bunch of people coming in and stuff like that so and we're trying to do that from time to time to kind of shake things up a little bit you know so you guys get some to meet some new people and get to see some people that you haven't checked out their channels yet and that, so Rob Hoffman, you're taking a quick five from work. Well, to spend that with me means the world to me. So thank you so much. Father and sons, good to see you. I went to go over the other day. It's so hard. And that's you're one of those channels. And I bet you five bucks the bell's not even rung anymore. Or even the subscribe button's uh, unpushed. But, you know, you're one of those ones I'll see in a channel. And like, oh, I haven't heard from those guys. And I know they put up a lot. So I do try. I do try to be diligent about that. But. Not always the best. And I know you guys put up a lot of content. You're always, you are always guys have been doing a lot of gaming stuff, some pretty cool stuff. Oh, uh, you did uh, Fortnite last night. Cool. Volkswagen New Models. Atlas Cross Sport. I'll have to check that out. Definitely. I like that uh, Celtics versus, uh, versus Bucks uh, clickbait. That's funny. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. It's getting there, I think, as long as they keep her on her antibiotics until the situation is completely gone this time. Well, yes, then, Jennifer, I do hope so. And uh, uh, we're thinking of your mom and uh, hope all goes well. Old Camp Ranch. Some of you people subbed me the other night and pushed me over 300. Isn't that amazing? Great job, guys. I'm happy to hear that for you. 
and we try just keep trying to watch each other's videos guys i know it's hard but that too because the more we the more you keep watching the same I, it's nice to have new people and it's a mix of nice but also trying really hard to support your core uh i'm happy for you good for you old camper you, you deserve it fun learning hello and welcome good to see you good morning beauty and the bird nice to have you here i'm so terrified i'm always pronouncing that wrong i choke every time i see it it's because i'm worried i'm going to say it the wrong way i love happy, happy trails hiking another great channel dr stein eckberg the place guys just got a little more a little more smart <laughs> He's amazing and really a very smart guy, but very palatable, palatable, palatable. There now, look at me, Tom. Smart, make myself look like a, you know what? So he's very easy on the ears with a lot of great things to say. <laughs> I am saying it right. Okay, thank you so much. See, I choked again. I was about to say it, and I backed off, worrying that this time that I would get it wrong. <laughs> on pleasure. I'm I'm glad. It's the same with our channel. You know, we get all kinds of stuff. I mean, it doesn't bother me as long as they're talking. That's all that matters. If they get it partly right or right, it's all good. I like that from Bottle Caps Morning Doctor. Exactly. Well, happy trails hiking. You know, we've been in it for a while together. So, we, you're, you know, you guys especially too, we appreciate you very much. So, it's always good to see you guys. You're always a pleasure in the chat. So... So it, it, lots of great people in our chat, and it's nice to see. That's why I was saying yesterday. Uh, sorry, I don't want to get into I, I should, What I meant was when we were talking even last night about, you know, everybody that's coming in regularly, everybody is a monitor because, you know what, it puts everybody in an even playing field. Everybody's happy for that, and rightfully so. It's a, it's a sign of respect. It's To us, it's like saying you know how to govern yourselves. You don't need to be babysat. Yeah, if somebody doesn't come in all the time and they're new, we don't we might forget to or not as much i uh i'm doing fun uh uh i'm sorry too guys you might hear my phone sometimes i gotta leave it on this morning because uh, xenia has audrey at um the children's they're doing uh, just some tests it's nothing serious so don't uh, worry or anything or, uh but i uh, just gotta listen to when i gotta go get them so in case there's any updates Yeah, and and Doctor Egbert is really good. Uh, one, of, uh, probably one of my wife's uh, favorites, I would say. For that, uh, she just clung to it right away. She's always into that stuff, and he's so great at presenting. And Healthy Trails, I know he's uh, the uh, sister channel, but you got to have the props too. Amy K. Makeup, welcome back. Good to see you. Sorry, uh, question, what are the, uh, oh, uh, you need 4,000 hours, uh, father and sons, or 240,000 minutes, and it has to be in the last 365 days. Yeah, you like my ringtone? <laughs> oh, those are just my message ones. Uh, uh, my ringtone is uh, a whole other... Uh, <laughs> You're one of the only ones that, if you heard my actual ringtone, it wasn't ringing right now, but if you ever heard it, you're one of the few that actually like it, I think. <laughs> I do it to bug my wife. Oh, you're asking asking me? Oh, I still got a ways to go yet. I'm still getting there. I can, uh, it'll get there. I'm not worried about it. It's all good. Nothing to lose sleep over. That's my ringtone. Over and over and over. <laughs> and it gets on Xenia's nerves, so it's all fun. <laughs> it's a win-win. <laughs> no. Oh, no problem, Dr. Stein. <laughs>
Lots of faces in here this morning for an early morning. Oh, thank you, Father and Sons. It's, you know, everything is coming along. I I mean, we all wonder about it and stuff like that, and, you know, hoping. But, you know, I find since we started the live streams, we've taken a different approach to even the way we look at our analytics. Spending a lot more time uh, uh, trying to bring in, like, uh, different age groups that we're, you know, we want to even the field with or uh, especially with women i'm really guys if you know any women please tell them to come join i used to have such a good ratio that's the one really weird thing with our uh, chat when i did even train videos and that stuff i had a more average comparison to what because youtube roughly is 70 30 women to men and i was running inwards of that with my channel up until the live stream started and i found it kind of weird you know we have i mean exactly she's on the show so it's not like it's all a male point of view and i don't think they get too uh too woman hating onto it or anything like that but uh you know i don't know but yeah so if you have women you know that want to come and watch the live stream by all means please bring them I want to bring those numbers up some more. I don't know. Maybe I'll start serving tea. I don't know. <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you guys think. You want to brainstorm and tell me what we can do to bring in more women? I'm all ears. Top of the morning to you, too. I'm more as 420. Good to see you. Good morning, Railroad Preserver 2000. Good morning, the Midnight Raven. Nice to see you. I'm wondering if I missed anybody else because I'm really good at doing that. That's kind of my specialty. So good to have good faces in here this morning. Uh, I'm just looking to see who I might have missed. Father says learning, how to trails. Living for uh, live for G forming like kind of live for gaming i'm assuming that was the play on words good morning to you i'll just say that for ease sake i think i got pretty much everybody like i said i'm working on our new video for that well our new uh that living photo series i'm doing this time i'm going to be doing uh um uh, it's going to be budapest i'm working i'm looking through my pictures of budapest right now looking out to pick out some ones that i want to use um i'm really liking this series i was never much into doing the photo series but it's a shame we have all these great photos and never really doing much with them so hey aaron v cox good to see you welcome always a pleasure to have you always good to see you guys and jennifer finds my comment about serving tea funny well i know I know. <laughs> I'm glad you guys aren't too PC on me. Like women, equal wages, all this stuff is great. I'm just not always so tender with my words, but I do it out of love. You can ask my wife. Here's some, uh, these are the raw pictures. These are some of the ones that I'm looking through right now, trying to figure out which ones to use at Budapest. I can't see you guys typing, by the way, because I'm just on the one monitor. I could do the split screen, but the other monitor, I have it back too far right now. So, so, yeah, I don't know yet. These are these are all like the JPEGs that go along with the RAWs, and this is where I, uh, if any of you aren't familiar with RAW, uh, here's a great example of shooting into it. Like this is the JPEG, but it's very, you can see there's not a lot of color detail into it. And that's because you can take the raw file, which is, this is the JPEG accompaniment. The raw file is about 50 megs. And that's what you bring into Lightroom. And then you can almost like retake the picture. You can set everything, all the parameters a lot more intensely than you would in, um, in Photoshop. You're basically like developing it. And you can enhance and stuff like that. And 
uh, because it's raw, usually I don't do it in Lightroom for my side. I'll bring it in on the timeline and then put an adjustment layer on top of it. And then that's when I'll start bringing in the cinematic look, like bring up the darks, bring out the colors more. So. Yeah, that's right. It's two cities. That's right. Buddha and Pest. That's right. Buddha's the older city. Very good. Smart man, bottle caps. <laughs> it's a very cool city. I spent, uh, well, I stayed the night there and then I went to Vienna. And from Vienna, I went, uh, I get, I went into Vienna and it was um, very cool. And then I got on, I had one train, I because usually you don't have to book them because with the train pass for like, I got for 15 days was $800 Canadian. So every night I'd sleep on the train, get off somewhere new in most of these countries. I'd leave like a, a, a train ride that would be overnight. Or a part of the night and I left there and the one I want to do was Bratislava and then Bratislava to Slovenia and into uh, into Croatia and that was the one train that was so hard to book and I was working at it working at it and trying all kinds of different things and I finally got a ticket booked and then I was so mixed up in the times because by then I had been traveling by train for days and I uh, ended up missing my train. I was literally sitting in the train station in the VIP lounge while the train was downstairs and left. So then they're like, well, there's nothing till the next day and blah, blah, blah. So I ended up having to take a commuter train, put me in like the northern part of uh, the southern, excuse me, part of Austria somewhere. I, I'd have to go look up the name of the town again. And I mean, it was a dead little town. <clears throat> and wait till 4.30 in the morning to catch another train to take me in down towards uh, 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 down towards uh, Bratislava. It was crazy. Uh, I, I went, there was one little bar open. Nobody spoke any English except for the waitress, kind of enough to get me something to eat. I got actually stale pizza and a beer. And then I sat with some people and kind of watched uh, soccer with them. There was like three of us in a bar, you know, that's usually probably the size to hold 100. And yeah, there was, there was lots of adventures onto it. It was uh, a bottle cap. <laughs> yeah, I know lots of stuff because I'm old. You're not old. You're, you're an antique little boy <laughs> at the ripe old age of 56. <laughs> oh, my God. Jennifer, I forgot and Dr. Steinman, there we go. Hmm. So, yeah, that's all. It's, it's like, kind of like I say, just laid back. Just wanted to get together with you guys for a few minutes, see what's going on. Um, take a little break from editing. That's why I'm wondering if it is worth it, if I should get a second little. I just want a little monitor I can put right here, you know, some 1080 piece of crap. Just so I can, when I'm uh, doing that, I can edit at the same time. And I might start editing, uh, streaming my editing some. And I will definitely need a second monitor for that. And the big one is just too hard to bring over in this part. It's used, I use that just when I'm working myself because it's a 32-inch and it's huge. Dead uh, 2K. Um, Oh, that sucks, model train. By the way, good morning. Yeah, when you're really looking forward to something like that, yeah, that sucks. Oh, that, that really does bite. I'm sorry. Your friend must have been really, uh, couldn't have been too happy about that. Raven, big hugs and love. XO, how are you? And how are you? We're doing good. We're doing good. Just chatting this morning. Joy in the morning. Got coffee. <laughs> I'm, uh, I took a train uh, from Metz to uh, Paris, and that was the fastest train in Europe. And it's 300, and I think we're doing 325 kilometers at one point. It was, they, they thought it was funny. Yeah, well, I guess it's the other way to look at it, too. <laughs> and that train, man, it moves, and you don't realize it when you're going through, like, all the, uh, you know, because most of it's, it's, it's not tunnels, but it's closed in, like, on both sides, because, of course, the thing is terrifyingly dangerous you would never even dream of surviving but when you once in a while would come out and you see the trees going it's just literally like that and then you realize just how fast you're moving 
And I actually took it by accident. I wanted to get onto it, but I wasn't planning to at that time. It just kind of lucked out that way. And I caught the last one of the day in that area for that part because then I would have went on the slower train. And you did a really good job on your uh, video, and we're going to show it tonight, bottle caps. And we usually don't do that because we can't do it for too many because we, if we do it all the time, it's going to be, uh, you know, because everybody's special. So I, but we will show yours tonight. I promise you, you got it. You're on the list. <laughs> and you did do a good job on do it. You are pushing your skills every time. I love seeing it. Yes, exactly. Model chains. Yes, it looks like you're going backwards. Yeah, it is a freaky feeling. There's nothing wrong with editing on phone. It's all... Uh, it, it, it depends what you want to do with the video. You know, and that's another thing, too. Uh, sometimes some videos look worse when you edit the crap out of them. It depends what you're going for. Like I say, the train guys are a good example of that. I make train videos that don't appeal to all the train guys. Some of them... I've had guys say, good effort, I don't like music on trains. So that's done. Or I don't like it cut and edited they want the shaky cameras are watching and they want to have the feeling of i guess as if it's their own eyes watching it pass and that's a great example now i've had some come in and say i love that uh, you do that kind of stuff so you know you got to find what works for you and there's nothing wrong with editing on phones some people do amazing videos just with their phones for sure i i love editing i love I love problem solving. That's the type of person I am. I like getting to make it as complex. And I'm not as complex. Listen, I'm not Disney. I'm not anything like that. But that's my enjoyment. I enjoy the editing way more than I enjoy shooting, like a hundred times more. I love sitting down with footage and then starting to piece it all together and watching it grow. It grows the music. It's uh, it's probably the same thing that people get when they uh, like gardeners or stuff like that. You know, it's that. I get that's from my fulfilling feeling. Now there's people who get that from the shooting and hate to edit. And there's people who love to be in front of the camera but don't want to shoot. I hate to shoot or hate to edit. But unfortunately, until we all become millionaires, we gotta do, do all the stuff ourselves. So when I shoot, I'm always already thinking what I want, what I can see it kind of doing in a video, like as I'm panning, moving. So I always take wherever I can, I take tons of shots, like uh there's a clock tower in old Montreal that I love. And Xenia was doing an interview there, uh, not an interview, a photo shoot for uh, two guys. And I was there and I was just fooling around with my camera. I figured I'll just shoot some while we're down there anyways. And this clock tower, I spent like an hour just fooling around with it, trying different angles, shooting crossways from the top, panning slowly, getting down on one knee and going up, uh, leaning behind a bench, getting all the... The trick I always find a good footage is to shoot anywhere but holding your camera here. Because then you're shooting where if you put 100 people together taking pictures of one tree, 95 people are more going to hold their camera right here, right in front of their eyes without bending, without anything, straight ahead. What they see is what they capture. You have to shoot what other people won't shoot. Look for those corners. Like, I'm a real sucker, and you'll notice that even in my photography. Xenia's a real photographer, but the, the traveling stuff and that so far has pretty much been mine. I love shooting if there's a city or a beautiful building. I love shooting behind trees. I always like that kind of peekaboo style, you know, some leaves coming down this way and that way, uh, between bushes. I, I could walk five feet ahead and get a clear shot of the building completely unobstructed. But to me, that's so much more interesting to the eye. It, it draws you in. It, it, it already kind of, you feel like you're seeing something you're not kind of supposed to see or you're kind of, you know, everybody has a little bit of voyeur in them. 
uh, like your cameras, shoot around your waist level. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, shoot, like, keep the camera on the side. Xenia really has a, and I always said she's great at, like, uh, weddings or family reunions and stuff for photography. And I think her psychology plays a great role in it. Because she's very good at either getting people at ease, and she'll spend a lot of time with them talking to them and stuff, and she's clicking, but they don't realize that she's clicking half the time while she's talking to them. And that's where she gets the best pictures, because they drop their guard for a moment. At, but she also goes around and you'll walk like you know the mingling you do like the stereotypical everybody standing together the the father and the groom and all that stuff but what she does really great after is she'll go around and she'll have the camera and she'll be like kind of walking through the crowd and just just like that and she gets phenomenal pictures nice angle on them or you know a little bit off more up in the face they're talking to somebody and you catch them like this in the conversation you can see the interest they have in a conversation with the other person and those really make great pictures well that's great raven that's exactly it perfect oh uh more angles the better you can the great thing with digital cameras you can always delete so yeah shoot away and then go through them later on and find the best ones perfect Welcome, uh, Craft Beer Pours. Sorry I didn't see you. I got going like sometimes and without Xenia checking the chat. I'm horrible. I'm so glad to have you here. Cave Creature, welcome. Good to have you here again. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see some re new returning faces and stuff like that. It's always nice. And W Long Dog, so good to have you here. That's that's right. That's right. That's right, Long Dog. It is. It, anything is building. Anything you do creative, it's the same as somebody who paints. It starts off with a blank canvas. Um, I have trouble with that point. When I first look at the timeline, and usually, like I say, I always pretty much my style is I shoot using usually if it's for my own stuff, or even a lot of customers. I like to shoot with the music first and have the video come in second, unless there's a lot of... Uh, uh, dialogue or, or, or uh, faces into it. The music's always my primary char character when I'm given the opportunity. Good morning, the good cell life. Yeah, and and then that stuff, like you guys can ask, especially ask Xenia when she's, when we have her uh, Tech Talk Tuesday. Like, pick her brain about stuff like that. She's very, very good at that. And she's very good at explaining to people. And uh, same with video. I mean, I'm not as – I would never make a good teacher. I think that – and honestly, there's some really great male teachers, and the world needs more male teachers at school. I believe that's important for young males and young females to have. Guys kind of have a harder time doing that. I don't know why. I think it's just not as good expressing yourself. Uh, say I played guitar. I could never teach guitar. And it's a patience thing too. <laughs> a lot of us have. Where do I get my music? I go to uh, YouTube Audio Library. Is a great one. Uh, oh my god, I forget them offhand. Here, I'll post some links for you guys. Let's see. Just uh, I can't see the chat for a minute, but. He's going to bear with me. Bookmarks. Audio source. You see, I have a folder just called audio sources. And it, even sometimes as I found new channels here, I found the kids' school has almost entirely women. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. It's good to have a mix for the kids. It, it is. And it's not just for boys. It's for girls, too, I believe. And there's the audio library. That's uh, by YouTube. That's a great place. And a lot of the ones you see on YouTube that say they're royalty-free, their music is there as well, so that's why. But I still check a lot of channels, and sometimes, like, you know, we're seeing channels that offer it. I'm always on the lookout for new uh, uh, for new audio ones. Um, here's another good one for sound effects. Right through it. History, history. Bookmarks. Oh, 
Here's a guy, uh, his own site. I think he is in the audio library as well. But you can, here's his direct site. <clears throat> no, it's not always terrible. No, it's, it's, but on the other side too, unless you want to start paying a ton of money for it, uh, videos that I've gotten over a thousand views and stuff like that has used, uh, uh, the audio. So I touch it up sometimes, like I'll take it in and bring up the bass and stuff like that, you know, thicken it out a little more sometimes. But, uh, no, lots of people use it. Lots of big channels. I know songs I'm hearing on a lot of huge channels, way over a million. I know a huge channel, and uh, their theme music, the music they use inside of it, and everything all comes from uh, YouTube. From the YouTube's music. It's just a collection of artists who agree to put their music there so they can get noticed. It's a database of free music. I'm still here. I just had to go. Oh, not a problem, Jennifer. Good to have, keep as, a, as much time as you can spend with us. Where it's totally appreciated. Camaro SS, good morning. How are you this morning? Good to see you. Hey there, SP Entertainment. Welcome. Good to have you here. Hey, everybody's welcome. Nice to see you all. Oh, Just In Time Prepping is here. Nice to see you. I was just over to watch another one of your videos uh, a day or two ago. Really cool channel. <laughs> Within hiking distance, welcome. Good to have you here. Good to have you here. God, guys, we're at 19. Isn't this nice hangout this morning? Like I said, I should be editing, but it's great to spend time with you guys. <laughs> Just in time prepping, if you guys haven't checked them out, it's a really cool channel. I mean, these are all great channels, and check each other out. You'll never go wrong with any of them. But, uh, yeah, he's got a uh, really great, and it's kind of time when, you know, if something ever happened, you know, the grid went down. Or, but it even ties into, uh, I think it would tie into cottage life. It would tie into just, it's good to be aware, and he really does a good job of that, so. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Cammie. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is the first time for that? Well, God, I'm so honored. <laughs> my apologies. My apologies, Cammie. I'm sorry. I'm kind of doing a bunch of things here this morning, so I'd, I'm trying to give you all my full-on on, on full on attention, but you need more bo coffee bottle caps? Yeah, by the look of what I'm doing, I guess I'm going to need some more, too, so there, we'll drink together. Okay. That's a great share. Anybody? Oh. 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 Uh, hang on, guys. Sorry, I'm just getting uh Like I said, my uh, wife is at the... Uh, Hospital with my uh, daughter. They were just uh, running some tests, so I'm gonna have to go get them. It looks like sooner than later. So, hi there, Badger Farm girl. Good to see you. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, pop up chat. There we go. Uh, go side by side. It's after my Camaro, so you know. <laughs> well, the SS was kind of, I think, subconsciously got me into that. So, but that's very cool. <laughs> I love what you put just in type prepping. Useful information without trying to scare people. That's amazing. I love it. Yes. Yes, that's right. Welcome, Bronix, by the way. Good to see you. Good to see you guys all. 
Sorry, I'm just mess I got a message. My oh, take care, Black Star. Hey, and congratulations about passing all your exams. Like, uh, by the way, once again, we said it last night, but good. For, I'm really happy for you. Oh, no problem. Like I said, guys, we're all uh, equals in here, and that's the symbol is that wrench. I don't want to get into a bunch of themes, or something, but I do believe it does. It just it's a sign that everybody knows how to respect each other in here, and uh, we can monitor each other. So. You know, just be good to everybody. Uh, we'll be done soon. There we go. Hmm. Uh oh. You already speak in musical tones, wow. Oh. Oh, hang on a second. I apologize, guys, but as we always say. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to run and go grab uh, my wife and daughter. Um. I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the chat up. You guys got a good thing going. Don't worry about watch minutes. You don't have to hang around. You guys want to leave? Leave. I'm just gonna leave it because you guys are chatting. You can find another place to hang. It's all good. I've never done this before, but hey, there's a first time for everything. So um, I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, cheers and keep creating. See you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Hey guys, I just seen what Cave Creature wrote, and I do appreciate that info. I didn't know that. So, you know what? If that's all right with you guys, um, hey, and if somebody wants to announce quickly, I got to leave. If you want to set up a live stream so everybody knows to go meet you there, you can do that. But yeah, I'll have to shut it down. And that does make sense. Yeah, you are a troll, Black Star. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah, it's too bad stuff like that, but you are right, so. Well, I know, and I really, really do appreciate that. Guys, we're a team, and we just start live streaming. I don't know everything about this. I know more about editing this, so I can help people with that, and people can help me on this, so. I really, that that's very uh, good of you to mention that. I'm just glad I came back in. I literally had forgot my thermos, so it worked out well. Mm -hmm. Troll it is. <laughs> Everybody's welcome. That's right. We did just learn from him. Yes, that's really cool. I will. You guys take care, all right? Love you. Cheers. And keep creating. Bye now.